Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. Let's talk about this CrowdStrike global IT outage, okay, in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So the CrowdStrike software update caused widespread system crashes on Windows devices due to the following key factors. There was a faulty channel file, right? The root cause was a defective channel file included in the update. For the CrowdStrike Falcon sensor, channel files contain data and instructions for the sensor to function properly. There's the behavioral protection framework, right? The problematic file was a part of Falcon's behavioral protection framework which regularly updates to adapt to new threats. Specifically, uh, this file governed the assessment of name pipe execution on Windows systems. You have kernel level access. CrowdStrike's Falcon monitoring product operates a deep system level with kernel level access to identify potential threats. This deep inter uh, integration made the faulty update particularly impactful. Uh, there's widespread deployment. The update was rapidly deployed to millions of devices worldwide affecting approximately 8.5 million Windows machines, according to Microsoft. Uh, system crashes, the faulty update triggered critical errors in affected systems, leading to crashes and the infamous blue screen of death, uh, the BSOD. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and like button. The boot loop. Many affected devices became stuck in a boot loop, unable to start up properly due to the corrupted driver file. Version specificity, right? The issue primarily affected systems running Falcon Sensor version 7.11 and above. The update, the update was rolled out between, uh, I believe, four and five. Uh, on July 19, 2024, I, I believe that's in the morning, uh, causing inter you know immediate and widespread disruptions. CrowdStrike has since acknowledged the issue, reverted the changes, and provided workarounds for affected systems, including instructions to delete the problematic driver file in safe mode. This, inc this incident highlights the potential risk associated with kernel-level security software updates and the need for rigorous testing before deployment, right? Uh, I think that's one of the biggest issues. You have to uh, first deploy in a controlled setting, uh, see if there's any issues, then <laughs> go out, right? They could have stopped this by implementing phased rollouts, right? Deploy updates to a small subset of systems first before water distribution. This allows for early detection at, of potential uses. They could have also used sandbox environments, test updates in isolated environments that mimic production systems before full deployment, and then maintain system redundancy, right? Especially for critical infrastructure to isolate and manage potential faults. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you in the next video.